Hello everyone, welcome again. In a world where we are surrounded with a lot of new discoveries and inventions, we sometimes need to use some adjectives to describe this. So today we are going to learn together some adjectives we can use to describe the inventions and the discoveries we have around us. State of the art and cutting edge, we use them to speak about things that use new technology. First trait, I use it to speak about something that has high quality. Novel and inno innovative, you use them to speak about things that they are out of the box, creative ideas. Low and high tech, of course, you are referring to the technology, the machine or the device it's using. And efficient, it means that it's working properly or not. And if you want to say the, neg the negative, And if you want to say the opposite, it's inefficient. Okay? Now, we are going to speak about if the third condition. When do I use the third conditional if? I use it to speak about unreal past event. What does this mean? First of all, I want you to focus about the formula of the sentence itself. If I follow it with had and post participle in the second sentence, it would or could or might have and post participle. Like the example here, if I had slept early, I would have caught the train. Okay, so it's clear. When do I use it? I use it to speak about something in the past that didn't happen, but I wish it happened this way, like I imagine. Like here, if I had slept early, I would have caught the train. Let's think, what happened here? It means that I didn't sleep early and I really missed the train, but I wish if I didn't miss the train. Here in this sentence, if she had studied hard, she could have passed the exam. What does this mean? Maybe she didn't get enough marks or maybe she failed. So again, I use if in the third condition to speak about something that didn't happen in the past and I wished it happened the way I wanted it to be. I hope that was useful enough for you and see you in another video.